Okay, hi everyone. A few weeks ago, maybe even month, I was asking you in the community tab if what did what you wanted to see next, and a lot of you guys were asking for a update to some of the builds that I'm doing. And so here we have the Exoset 125 build. And to be honest with you, I've been very busy with so many things as of late so i'm not really getting the progress on the build that i that it deserves and that i wanted it that i wanted to but um this is where we are it's not holding me back for giving you an update on where we are with this so as you can see the motor mounts are in and i think they came out pretty well both motors are in. These are special uh, LMT motors, which has been <clears throat> made in a in a smaller size than the usual ones. So they are they are a little bit shorter than than the regular thirty forty that you can buy. So this would be more like a thirty thirty actually. But uh, everything is drilled. The hull has been painted. The motors are in. I need to put in the, the, the brackets. I need to put in the brackets for the ESC. I need to, to 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 mount the battery sliders here. Um they need to go in. Then I also need to put in the bulkhead like support here. And yeah, what else do we need? We need to put in of course the brass tubes, the stuffing tubes. They need to come in there and then we just need to mount everything to the back. Everything is more or less ready to go on here so the majority of the work has been done already putting things putting it all finalizing it putting it together is what is needed to be done and like i said we'll be running the the lmt's special shorty versions of the 30 series i will be running the hydra xlx2s I will be running this low profile servo GT5. I've recommended it already to some of you guys. I think it's a very solid servo. I think it's about 50 kilograms of torque that it has. So that should be plenty. <clears throat> yeah, and basically this is a this is a box with all the stuff that needs to go in. This is a relay that needs to control the pumps. I'll be running two of these pumps uh, in here. They will just sit all the way under the, like basically over the overhang. So inside the overhang in there somewhere. This will need to go in. I will have a, a complete, I will have a, a solid middle section here with full carbon that will go all the way from up here with the servo will sit inside and then all the way to, to around here. Well, we'll have all the electronics hidden away. ESCs, like I said, it will come down here as close to the motors that I can get them to have the wiring to the motor as short as possible and also to keep the center of gravity low. These couplers, as far as I know, best you can get. But hopefully this one will be out. If not end of this year, it will be Q1 next year. So I really do, I really do hope that I will get this up and running uh, sooner rather than later. And just to give you just a short tour here of the of the workshop. So this is where we are. We got some basic tooling. We got the soldering station over here. Have this IKEA air filter for when I'm doing the soldering. Some camera equipment, the gimbal over there. And in this camera back here, actually I have all my charging stuff. So when I'm on the go, this is what I will be using. We got the ISDT P30 here with a big power supply in there. We got an additional uh, T6 light charger there. Thermometer, some cables and all the connectors with adapters that I have. 
in that bag. Then we have the Delta Force 41 sitting here just after running this weekend. It's still, still with the lid open so that it can dry completely off before I close that up. We got on the Delta Force, we have everything as we usually have here with the XLX2. I lost a battery tray, but uh, that needs to go in again. It was a small accident, but uh, it just needs to go in. And then we have the motor, the TP5670CM. And then recently also I put in here, now it's a bit messy with all the wiring, but I put in a water pump and it just makes a huge difference for the, for the motor. The motor has been struggling a bit with heat and heat soaking during both the circuit racing and also the long uh, saw passes. But putting in that water pump just changed everything for this setup and it's just running so cool now, it's amazing. And that's also one of the reasons why I decided to put in two of the water pumps here so there will be an intake either side either side there is an intake and i will have two pumps providing um providing cooling for the escs first because they will be the coolest and then they will run from the escs to the motors and then out of either side of the hull then all my flexies from the boats are sitting here we got the pursuit sitting in here up here we got the sonda basically ready to rock and roll sometime, hopefully soon. And here we got the blackjack built with the, the crazy Hydra sitting in here. All over here, we got all the batteries. You, you really need to take care of your batteries. Basically it's explosives, right? So, so I have them in these ammo cans. So 3S, 4S, more 4S packs. More forest packs. Actually, this is also forest and a few 6S packs. And then over here, 6S mostly. And that's the that's where the extra set sits whenever it's not on the bench. And here we got the ISDT FD200. Such a great unit. I just can't stress it enough. So charging up your batteries sometimes can be a concern if you are able to to run to run them but when you have this you can just charge your batteries when you and never worrying about discharging them because if you plug them into this it's going to discharge nearly any battery in, in five to ten minutes 200 watts so this is really a game changer it has been for me because when you do discharging on the charger that you have it's it's just taking forever and so a dedicated discharger is just, it's just golden. Over here, we got the, we got the PC where I sit and do the videos. So this is basically that setup with the speakers and the PC there. The camera, recently, fairly recently started using this camera. Sony set V E1. Very, very nice. I really do enjoy using that. And here we have the, the drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Use that from time to time. That's the tour of the workshop, the office. I hope you guys enjoyed a bit of an update. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.